What's up, YouTube? It's Coach Corey, and the moment you've all been waiting for is here. Auto aim is being re uh, okay. Nothing's happening with auto aim, but we do have a bunch of really big game-changing balance changes. So let's get into them. All right, so we got some really, really big uh, balance changes that dropped this morning. So I'm gonna go over all of them with you guys and I'm gonna tell you what I think about the balance changes and what brawlers are gonna be really good after this update or this balance change. So first off, there's some pretty big ones. There's some, the gameplay's gonna feel really different. I really like the gameplay now. I think it's a lot more fun. It's more fast paced. Uh, manual control is a lot better. A lot of these brawlers, it's much easier to aim with. So to me, it's a great update. There's one thing they have to fix, and I'll go into that after I go over these changes. It might become a little obvious to you. But let's go over the really big ones first. So first off, all of the brawlers in the game are getting a movement speed buff by about 9%. This also goes for pets as well. So this is a big change. Everyone moves 9% faster. I think in landscape mode, it felt pretty slow. Everyone was zoomed out. And because of the perspective, everyone fence felt pretty slow. Also, the game is zoomed out a little bit more. The perspective has changed. But with the movement speed buff, it still feels a lot faster. Another thing that changed is the projectile uh, speed has also gotten 9% faster. So not only do you move faster, but the projectiles all shoot faster, so they reach you faster. So the game feels a good amount faster. I definitely like that. It's a I like the pace a lot more post balance changes, and I think you guys will too. Another big change is some of the projectile sizes of a couple brawlers got a good... Well, they got bigger, basically. It's going to vary a little bit by the brawler, but there's... Well, I'll tell you the brawlers. It's Colt, Ricochet, Jesse, Crow, Brock, Piper, Tara, and Spike. So I think that's eight. Eight brawlers got their projectile sizes increased. So all those brawlers, it's going to be easier to hit with. Um, I think this is a big deal for these guys. They're now a good amount easier to aim manually. And it also kind of feels like this isn't in the patch notes, but it feels like the sensitivity of the joystick is a little bit changed. And with all the brawlers, it feels a little bit easier to aim. So for all those guys, it's definitely a good amount easier to hit with manually. Um, you can definitely aim manually with all of them if you want. Even with Brock, even with Piper, you can definitely aim manually. Brock's rockets feel really big. Piper's feels really big, maybe a little strong. So this is one thing I'm going to get into is all of these guys. Now, there's some also some balance changes for some other brawlers individually. And I'll get into those right in a second. But with all these projectile size increases, another thing that happens is it's also easier to hit with auto aim with those brawlers. So I think what's going to happen is you guys are going to really enjoy the gameplay from this balance changes. But... Auto aim is going to also be more usable with those eight brawlers, so that's going to be really annoying. But but don't don't worry, don't panic. What this balance change does is it allows the dev team. Well, in my perspective, is it improved manual control a lot? So now what they can do is now that they've improved controlling, they can work on either removing auto aim or reducing the effectiveness of auto aim. First, I get from their perspective they probably wanted to fix the gameplay, fix the controls before they worked on removing or reducing auto aim. I don't know if they're going to do that, but that's my guess. That's my perspective. All right, let's get into the other balance changes. So some other brawlers that changed is Brock. Brock got his attack range reduced a little bit to fit the screen. So a bit of a nerf, kind of annoying, but it, I think that's good for overall. It's kind of not great gameplay when you're killing people off screen. That's never a great thing. So actually, Piper and Ricochet got the same nerf. Now their attacks basically go the full length of the screen, and that's it. Um, another thing with Brock is he got a damage buff, almost 6% damage buff, so pretty decent. I think he needed that. He was pretty underwhelming, and I think he'll be pretty decent post-update. Piper also got a damage buff, about 5%. Another brawler that was struggling a bit. I think this is pretty good. We'll see how strong Piper is. Piper with auto attack is going to be really strong, so... We'll see, but the gameplay is definitely going to be different. I think we're going to see a lot of long-range brawls is really strong. Ricochet also got what's essentially a buff. I mean, his range got reduced a little bit, but 
Every time his bullets bounce, they now travel about two tiles further. So a maximum of six bounces, two tiles more per bounce. So that's definitely a good buff for Ricochet. He's going to be a lot stronger, especially with his star power. I like this. It fits to his play style. You want to be bouncing with Ricochet. Why not? That's a decent buff. Uh, Bo, I think this is, it's sort of a buff, but really it's just fitting in with the faster play style. His mines now trigger faster, about 11%, 12% faster than they were before. So they blow up faster when you step on them. They trigger sooner. But basically, this is honestly just fitting in with the faster move speed since you can move away from the mines faster as well. So basically, keeping with the status quo. Colts got a really small buff. His star power got buffed by, um, it's about a 20% buff technically to his star power, but overall his move speed increases by about 1.5%. So his star power is a little bit stronger. It's, you're not going to probably notice. It's a pretty small movement speed increase, so eh, better than nothing. I don't know if it really makes the star power worth it yet. I would do maybe another 1.5 uh, or maybe 2%. It would make it definitely more worth it. And then Dynamite and Barley, their projectile speed boost is actually going to be 14% instead of 9%. Definitely great for them because those guys felt so slow. And honestly, hey guys, I played with them on iPad and it didn't feel bad. Honestly, it felt like Barley took it a little longer. It felt like they made the Dynamite move stick increase faster, which is great. I think Dynamite is really easy to use post this balance change, which is great. I think Barley is definitely a lot easier to use as well. I didn't play a lot of games with either of them, so we'll have to see if they're playing some more games. Also, Mortis got a buff. Yeah, Mortis buff. Praise Mortis gods. So he now moves about 15% more every dash. I know everyone loves Mortis buffs. Mortis has got nerfed for the longest time. He's getting a little bit of love. I think this is good, especially with the faster move speed. It was kind of needed, but he also got that move speed buff as well. So it's not like he was falling behind. Also, we got some nerfs to some brawlers that were really OP. I think there could be some other nerfs needed too, but for now, these are pretty decent. Shelly gets an, a damage nerf of about 6%, and Bull gets a damage nerf of about 9%. Those are two really good buffs. Those are probably the two strongest brawlers in the game currently, uh, especially with auto-aim, so they're going to be a bit weaker. So it's not going to be as much of a tank meta. Now, Daryl's still going to be really strong. El Primo's going to be strong. But El Primo wasn't crazy, in my opinion. He was just really good. He's still going to be pretty good. But all these long-range guys got a bunch of buffs. So don't underestimate that. I really think this meta is going to be really different. I think we're going to see a bit of a long-range meta, honestly. Um, we're going to see a lot of spike. I think Ricochet is going to be really good. Colt's going to be really good. Brock's going to be good. In Bounty, you're going to start seeing a lot more of the old Bounty meta. You're going to see a lot of Brock. You're going to see a lot of Piper. You're going to see a lot of Ricochet. You're going to see Colt. You might see one tank. I think there's going to be a lot less tanks, though. I mean, Poco's still going to be easy to use, strong. I think you're going to start seeing spike even more in Smash and Grab. It's going to be back to the old spike, basically. He was still strong with the old update, but um, he's going to be even stronger now, honestly. Nita, probably going to see a little bit less so since didn't really get any buffs. But yeah, that's going to be most of the changes, guys. I think, oh, also throwers will be used a lot more now. They're going to definitely be viable, especially Dynamite. Dynamite's going to be pretty strong, I think. We're going to have to see, guys, some of these brawlers might be really, really strong and they're going to need more adjustments. But don't worry, I believe in the dev team, they usually have pretty quick turnaround if there's any brawler that's really, really strong after any, like, sudden balance changes. So, guys, let me know in the comments what you think of these balance changes. They're pretty radical changes. And let me know what you think after playing the game, too. Honestly, I'm enjoying it a lot more. I think they're setting the game up for success. The controls feel a lot better now. And now all they have to do, in my opinion, is tweak the controls probably a little bit more. You can change the gameplay a little bit more as well. I don't think it's perfect yet, but definitely better. And then, in my opinion, I don't think they need to remove auto-aim, although I'd love for them to. I think they need to reduce the effectiveness of auto-aim, make it a lot less accurate. And then the game is going to be in a great place, in my opinion. And we will be ready for whatever the next update is. Just work on those social features. Whatever they want to do. Get spectating and replays in. Get the skins, voice acting. Skins, voice acting, not super important. But 
spectating replays, social features, get ready for global. That's what we all want. So guys, that's it for today's video. Oh, also, big boxes now give PowerPoints only to five brawlers as a maximum instead of six. I think it's still the exact same value though. It's just more, it was like before it could be five or six and now it's just five. Whatever, it's the same value, I'm pretty sure, same PowerPoints. So no real change there, to be honest. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think of these balance changes and after playing it. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you later.